what's up y'all so today i'm just gonna talk you know propagate into the realm so to speak what do we have like how do we get here there's so many people who are uh awakening to who they really are awakening to their destiny to their path to their purpose but really has any of you or any of us stop to really think how did we get to this point honestly there's so much going on that so many people don't realize is happening at this moment you don't realize reincarnation being halted at this moment there's no reincarnation going on because energy is rising how does the planet get its energy? You know? It is what it is. Like, me personally, I know exactly what's happening. I know what's going on. And I haven't even told you half of what's happening. I'm waiting for people to come out the woodworks and start saying their spew so that I can start up. Because really it is a tit for tat kind of thing going on. This for that, push and pull kind of thing. You know? Now I say you know, because apparently and obviously, some of y'all do know. You get it. What this is, what we are a part of. I mean, are any of you ready for a shift? Are any of you ready for a change? Like, you have to prepare yourself for a different time period. You have all the signs you need to realize that. Still boggles the mind to look at it. It may look just like a scene from a disaster movie, but this is real. This video captured today when the ocean caught fire in the Gulf of Mexico, just west of the Yucatan Peninsula. Those dramatic images of the ocean aflame quickly going viral on social media. Some people calling it an eye of fire, while others said it looked like the portal to hell opening up. Like me, I'm living free as a bird. I don't worry about a thing. I mean, at the detriment of losing people, I really don't, I don't use these devices, like the device I'm on right now. I rarely use it outside of either watching videos or recording. Social media is gone, which basically means you're a ghost at this point. Because if you don't have a social media, you're non-existent. Or at least it feels like it. Oh, that's <laughs> War, can you see us? Lieutenant? We're right here, War. Oh, damn. Do you see us? We're right here. We're right here. Did you see that, Mr. Data? Yes, sir. The world is so out of balance that it's starting to, like, it's moving the balancing post to make up for the imbalance. And one prime example of this is a kid's show, Avatar, The Legend of Korra. There are only five airbenders in the entire world. You and your family are the last airbenders. But, uh, I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be an airbender like you hoped. What you did during Harmonic Convergence may have brought back the Air Nation. After 170 years, new airbenders. None of you chose to become airbenders. But now you do have a choice. We can relocate you somewhere safe, or you can come with me to the Northern Air Temple to live in peace and train as air nomads. All the airbenders were wiped out in a genocide. So, in order to bring balance back, Airbenders started popping up out of nowhere. People who never had abilities began to fly. Because balance had to be restored. Cosmic design. So now you're here. All these water levels deteriorating in these lakes and reservoirs and, and uh, dams just going down because really the water is being moved this is a deliberate action 
you don't realize what's happening. Before your very eyes, these people have turned their backs on you. Really, most of these governments are in autopilot mode. They don't care about what's going on. They don't care about day-to-day going-ons. Because for the most part, they're trying to leave you. Uh, it's a presidential alert. We're obviously way off, and uh, we are... Why did your phone get it and not ours? Get uh, people in the <laughs> that can report firsthand what it is they have experienced. John, John Alan, Alan, Garrity. Garrity. You have been selected for emergency shelter relocation with no one else allowed with you. There are no exceptions. Bring one person back to you. Roger. Robinson, Robinson Air, Force Air Force Base. Base. Warner Robins, Georgia. Georgia. They figured that they would go to bunkers. But based off of certain uh, messages that they've received by watching videos like uh, like this, among other ways, to understand that maybe building a makeshift tomb isn't the best ideal. So now they're trying to figure out a way to leave. But they realize, all too late, that they're surrounded. They can't leave. To go where? To be shot down? Where would they go? So now, you are locked in. These cosmic events are going to happen. And everything that you've heard from certain prophets, certain spiritual entities, certain light workers. All of that's going to come true. And what do you have to show for it? Anxiety, fear, 3D emotions that really don't mean anything. Just holding you to a certain vibration so that others can feed off of you. So we're here. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't fear any of this. At this moment in time, I realize my place in all of this and I realize where I am going. And I hope that you realize where you're going. Because at this moment, this realm has changed. I'm not the same person. And I don't believe I will ever be until the next go round if I choose to do this again as this person. So, you have to realize you have to really understand who you are. Because if you don't, you're going to be swept up with them. So good luck to you all. In this coming time period that is different, that is something that a lot of the masses aren't ready for, is upon us. But we can't change it. We're locked in. So. I wish you. Much abundance. And great blessings. So with a smile on. And positive vibes. Your way. For the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.